Okay, let's start digging into Python here. Now, before we go anywhere, we probably should answer one question, which is, what is Python? And if we're going to ask this question, we should, of course, answer it with a quote from Wikipedia. So Python is an interpreted high-level general purpose programming language created by uh, Guido and first released in 1991. Python, and well, you can read the rest to yourself from, from there. And let's try and translate that into a bit of uh, English here and what we can actually do with Python. So what is Python? Well, as it turns out, Python is an extremely flexible programming language that you can really do any type of development that you might want, be it functional, procedural, or object-oriented, and create really any type of application that you might want, including things like web development, machine learning, etc. Python is also designed to be human readable. So that way, if you're uh, not real in tune with a lot of different like C++ syntax and things like pointers and so forth, fortunately, you don't have to worry about that when it comes to Python. It's designed to be, well, at least quasi close to English. Now, why use it? Well, it's a great starter language. Now, what's nice about Python is there isn't necessarily a lot of huge syntax to learn that um, you are going to notice, again, there aren't a whole lot of funky little characters and things like that. And it's also going to help teach you some really good best practices that you'll want to use with any programming language that you might be uh, programming with. But it's also a great advanced programming language as well that, again, Python is flexible so that Python can grow with you. So as you grow in your career, as you start digging deeper into, say, machine learning, Python can come along with you for the ride. You don't necessarily need to go out and learn another language. Finally, Python has a fantastic community that if you're thinking, hey, I want to do fill in the blank, Chances are somebody has been nice enough to create a package that you could go ahead and use to perform said task. So the last question then is, what can I build with Python? And the answer is pretty much anything. So you could do machine learning models. You could do AI projects, web applications, which is personally what I find myself using Python most frequently for, automation utilities, and really, pretty much anything at all. And again, that's the, the, the great power of Python, its flexibility and its ability to grow with you. So now that you know a little bit about Python, we'll close off here. And then in the next video, we'll talk a bit about what you're going to need to start writing your Python code.